Good afternoon, 3D printers. Um, this is going to be a video on how to make a simple keychain. This will be a, a very popular, a very um, simple introductory level for your kids, for your students, for you, for anyone who's learning how to design in, in Tinkercad. So, of course, I, I'm hoping you know how to get to this point. Uh, you're going to hit create. Choose 3D design, and we see our work plane. Uh, first thing we always do, or I try to tell my students to do, is come up here, click on the name the, that they have given it, and we're going to name a keychain. Might be a good idea to always put your name on it, but for for this example, I'm just going to put keychain. Okay, we are going to pull out a cube. I like to make it a uh, lighter color. It's always easier to see all the edges. Um, additionally, I like to work in inches. So I come down here to settings. I go over here where it says units. I drop that down. I change it from millimeters to inches and make the fault and I don't have to fool with that every time. All right, so I am going to click on my, these little squares are called handles. I'm gonna click on this corner handle. I can address both my X and my Y axis on this. So I'm gonna change the one inch on the X to a three. And we could even make it 3.5, three and a half. Just a little bit longer. I'm going to make um, the Y 1.75, sort of like make it proportional, and I'm going to make the Z axis anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. Depends on how long you want to take it to print. So I'm just going to make it 0.125, which is an eighth of an inch, and it will give it some good strength and stability. I'm using my arrow keys to move it over into the center. If you wanted to put a little uh, roundness to it, take your radius up here and just round it down a little bit. And now you, your uh, keychain can have a little bit of roundness to it. Uh, the couple different ways we can make the little hold, the holder for it. Um, I normally just go down here to this tube. I bring it out. First thing I'm going to do, I want it the same size as this, so I'm going to go to the Z axis and make it 0 0.125. <clears throat> Didn't work that time sometimes. Make 1, 2, 5. And then I'm going to go to my top view. The, your view cube up here will help you move it so you can get around the top cube. And I'm, I'm using my arrow keys to put it close. It's got to be connected. It's got to be into both parts. You see, see how I have the, the the part of the circle hitting into the keychain, the key plate. And once I get it there, I'm going to click and drag over both pieces, and I'm going to group. And now you have a one one piece. It's a one solid piece. And you can put whatever you want on it. You pull your text out, and when you get started, your kids are gonna um, they're gonna want to put all kinds of stuff in there. Um, I'm going to bring the Z axis down to a quarter of an inch, 0.25. Um, I also like to use the sans here. It takes the hanging uh, the hangers when you have the multi language. See how it has that the T and the E they have hanging things. Sometimes your printer will get hung up on that and they'll cut, they'll, they won't go in real tight. Um, so for this one, I'm just gonna put what my grandkids call me. My kid, grandkids call me Poppy. Um, I'm gonna shrink it down so it fits. I'll go three inches this way. Uh, I, I made it one and three quarters. So let me just make it one. And then I use my arrow keys. Up to my view cube, hit the top view, 
get it centered pretty pretty centered you can't really align you can align on your y-axis this way There's, if you did if you centered with your x-axis it's going to pull it over because we added that that, that tube on if we didn't do, if we would have done this before we added the cube that may have been a better way of getting it perfectly centered but for now I'm just going to eyeball it in there if I'm not really happy with that yet I'm going to come down here with the snap grid I'm going to click on that I'm going to make it 1 64th of an inch so now every time I click it's only going to move 1 64th of an inch and I can try to get it in there a little better and uh, like I said, kids are going to want to put stars in there. They're going to want to put hearts. Um, let them, let them experiment. Let let them make their mistakes. Um, you, um, I'm, we're reading a book in my ELA class right now, um, and it talks about how um, making mistakes is how you really learn the best. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video.